A message from God. I have a message for all humankind from God. I made you in my image, and that includes all. Every man, woman, and child, you are all made in my image. Yet as I look down at you I see you killing one another. Not only that, but you women are ripping your unborn children out of the safety of your womb. I am telling you this before I tell you what is happening in the world today. I want you to know what I am about to do, this is because despised your evil ways I am a merciful God, and I am giving you a chance to repent before I come in judgment. And yes, I am coming very soon, so I am telling you that today is the day, and if you do not repent you may not have another chance. Back before I created your kind and everything you can see in your world, I created beings called angels. They were beautiful creatures, all of them. But there was one that was special, he was called, Lucifer and he was a thing of great beauty. When I created him and all the other angels, who were my messengers and were to do my will, they were not robots, just like humankind were not robots as well. Something horrible happened to Lucifer, the sin of pride entered his heart, and he began thinking he was better than I, the one who created him. I know there are some of you on earth that believe he was my brother, but let me make it clear, he was not my brother. Not only did this pride destroy him, but he also convinced a third of the angels to follow him in his rebellion against me. He thought he was on my level. He told me to move over to the side that he was going to take over. I had to cast him, and all that followed him out of my heaven. I cast him to earth which was void and formless. I could do this because he was a spiritual being and had no bodily form. He now resided in the realm of time and was removed from my eternal kingdom. He remained an infinite being just like you are. Just to let you know you are not going to be annihilated, you will exist forever. So do not think when you die you will not suffer my wrath if you do not accept my offer of forgiveness which is only available through my son who I have sent to you to take your punishment. When we created you, yes we, my son, my spirit, and I, and I know this thought is far above your thinking, but take me at my word, and we will move on. Everything we made was very good, and I was well pleased with it and that included your first parents. But just like some of the angels, they fell into sin. Your first parents believed Lucifer, who I now call Satan, and by doing this sin enter the world that I created for you. And just like Satan is no longer a thing of beauty everything he touches becomes ugly. This sin that fell on humankind is still in the world today, and this is why you are still a murderer like your father, Satan. He has become the god of this world. The earth is his domain, and that is why your world is so messed up. As you read this message from me, you will not be able to understand what I am saying because Satan has blinded your mind to my thought. He has kept you away from reading my love story that I gave you a long time ago. You can find it in the book, My Word, The Bible. He wants you to think of it as a fable, but think about this, even though Satan tried to convince men to destroy it, and they did try, but I intervened and protected it for you all these years. He knows he cannot destroy it, so he has just convinced you not to read it. He is a master of lies, so beware. Know, that you are dead in your trespasses and sins it is so easy to follow that serpent of old, the devil, the father of lies. Remember he told Eve the biggest lie ever, he caused her to doubt my love and bit not only the forbidden fruit, but she bit into the lie of the devil. This is why you now have the knowledge of good and evil. When you were in your innocence, you only knew good. But that is all changed now that sin is the driving force in your life. You are living in a fallen world. Now, if you want me to be your father, you have to become my children. And the only way that can happen is to be born again from above. If you received my son who I sent you will have the right, I will give you the power, to become the sons of God, even if you believe on his name, you will not be born of blood, nor the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. That is because my son, the living word was made flesh and dwelt among you, and through my written word that he dwelt among you and you beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father God, and he is full of grace and truth. 
I want to tell you about your religions, and you have many different ones in your world. Satan has been working behind the scenes in all of them, making you think you are worshipping me, but my word tells you how to do it right. I said you had to worship me in spirit and in truth, but you chose to do it your way. First, you believe the lie of the devil and did not worship in truth. Then you did it in your own spirit, and not my spirit. You made up a bunch of your own ordinances, and ordained men of your choosing, instead of doing it by my book, the Bible. Did you think I would accept that kind of worship? Think again. If you would have read all the parables my son told you maybe you would have seen that Satan and his band of fallen angels are running your religions of the world. You are no better than my earthly people Israel who made themselves a golden cow and worshipped it. I see that some of you think cows are holy. Oh, how foolish you have become. I understand that some of you have been following your own prophets as well. Oh, how sad this is. I have given you the book to follow, but your minds have been darkened by the evil one. Is it not time that you come to the light? My son who I sent to you, he is the light of the world. He is the only spiritual light that you have in your dark world. I told you once, and I will say to you again, the only way to come to me is through my son. And if you do not know who my son is, it is because you never read about him in my Bible. Maybe it is time for you to pick it up and read it before it is too late. It is now time for me to tell you what my plans are. I am going to send my son to you again, but this time he is not coming as the Lamb of God to take away the sin of the world, he is going to be coming as the Lion of Judah. He will be roaring in judgment. But before he comes, he will be taking out of the world all those who belong to him, and then he will be pouring out his wrath on all that is not his. He is going to cleanse the earth of its evil. Then, he is going to throw Satan and all the angels that followed him in the bottomless pit and lock them away for a thousand years, during which he will set up his kingdom on earth where he will reign. He will rule with an iron rod and bring all in subjection under his rule. After this, there will be more to come. But you do not need to know more than this for now. What you just read might all sound like I made it up, but it is all based on the Bible. Back on July 8, 1741, a man by the name of Jonathan Edwards gave a message entitled, Sinners in the Hands of an Angry God. It was a great awakening. And I hope that this writing will be an awakening for you today because the Lord is going to return very soon. His words are, I come quickly. Now there is a reason why we do not know the time of his return. It is because he desires that no one perish, but that all come to repentance. For God so loves the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. This might be the last message you get from God, so you better not neglect this warning. And if you choose not to believe me, read the Bible and see for yourself that what I am saying here is the truth. Remember, it is the God of this world that is trying to keep you from reading the message from God. Read his love message to the human race for yourself. Amen and Amen. I saw the light over 40 years ago, and I was 40 when it happened. So by the time you read this, I might be with the Lord, and I hope to see you there, and you can tell me how you read this and gave your life to Him. This is your final message.